All right, guys, it's a new day now, and I finally got a rivet tool kit, so finally gotta be able to put on my headlights correctly. And then once we do that, I'll probably take them off again just to put it away so that I could prep this car for paint as well. But let's go ahead and get this car washed so I can actually put a cover on it. I'm gonna wash my 242. So it might take a little while, but I'm gonna wash both cars so I could put covers on them just because it's gonna start getting hot again and I don't want the and I don't want the sun to damage my cars any further. So let's go ahead and do that and get started. The cars are washed nice and clean. I'm gonna wait for them to just air dry and then I'll put the covers on. But man, they're finally looking nice and clean again. And look at that. I love my S14. I wish I had the money to build it right away, but um, this one might be last on my list unless you guys really want to see it. I'll start doing stuff to it. But uh, I do have some stuff that I've kind of recorded but I haven't finished yet. So uh, once I get the time to do that, I'll start uploading it. But I really want to do something like a cool swap to this motor, to this car, but just don't have the funds for it either. And the Corolla hatch is the priority right now, as well as this one. So my two Corollas, I want to just finish them first before I actually start working on my other project. But I love my 240. I'll still do some 240 content as well. But man, look at how clean this is now. It's looking real good. I don't know if you guys are tired of looking at it, but I love looking at this. And I love this hood. It's so aggressive, but it's not too crazy either. And there it is, man. So amazing. I also cleaned up the engine bay and I washed that down. I need to clean the interior because you guys can see there is rat poop there, so that's not good. I need to get some rat traps or something to uh, catch them so that at least I could kind of control the ones that go into my car. But this hood is so sketchy. Okay, here's the engine bay. Looking nice and clean. I disconnected all the wires. I'm not going to turn this car on for a long time, so uh, it should be okay. Let everything air dry and make sure there's no water in places that can't get out. But everything looks good. Nice and clean again. But yeah, let me go ahead and put up this hood. But let's go ahead and rivet on those headlight brackets so that it could be on here permanently and I could actually take them on and off easier. Alright, so real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to mock this up because not a lot of people show this. Um, there's, like I said before, there's like no real way to actually measure without having the headlights and everything on already. So all you do is just mount it up like this or you can have someone kind of hold it for you, which what which is what we did with Jeffrey's uh, Zinke ones. But you just kind of mock them up to where you think it's right. And then you just mark where you want to. A lot of people don't really care to mark it because once they have it like this and nice and set up, they'll just go ahead and weld it on. So 
Uh, there's different ways to put these on, but if you want to do it like the way I'm doing it, you're going to have to kind of uh, mark it in place and then go ahead and rivet it after that. But yeah, so sorry guys, there's no like good tutorial or or write up on how to do these. I can't find anything. And that's kind of just the best way I figured it out. So uh, good luck on your own head 11 headlights. All right guys, so I actually figured out a better way to mock up your headlights. And what I did was drill the holes before. So I pre-drilled the holes first of, kind of just mark the spots that do have contact. And then once you got the holes, you could just mark the panel here and then just drill the holes and then and then it should be good after that. But you still have to put these on the headlights. So it takes a little like finagling as they're mounted onto the headlights, but got the headlights right here. Um, it's kind of hard to take out the grill without breaking the clip if you don't remove the whole unit together. But yeah, let's go ahead and put these on and then we'll see if I did a good job on mocking these up. All right, got my 1 8 head on and just gonna go ahead, put them in like that. I like this one cause it swivels. So let's go ahead and just put it on. Put it in. Just like that. And I am off again. I don't know how I did that, um, even though I marked it, but I guess it's off just by a little bit, but it's okay. It's something we could just weld shut later. Uh, I'm gonna have to take these off anyways, so I could redo this whole panel, paint it back, and then re-rivet these back on. But let me go ahead and drill this hole again. And I think I have to drill a hole right here anyways at the bottom, so it's a little better but let me go ahead and do those two holes and then we'll go ahead and put the headlights back on. Okay, I got this hole made and actually I might not drill something here. Might just leave it like that because I think it's good enough. And then uh, let me go ahead and do this side. So let's see if these sides work out too and hopefully just one little casualty, but should be okay. And this car has a lot of drilled holes that I need to weld up now because of my own mistakes, but it's okay. Let me go ahead and put this side on and then we'll go ahead and go from there. A few moments later. So here are your headlight brackets for the A6 11 conversion. And it should be good now. Let me go ahead and put on these headlights and see if I did good. Hopefully it's not too off, but, um, but let's go ahead and put these on and see if we did a good job. Hey, I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling Alright, the headlights are on and they are on good. So there's a nice gap here, which is what you're supposed to have. And then there should be a nice little gap here too, right between the hood. So let me go ahead and close this hood and let's see if and let's see if it is straight. Let me grab this. the gap is actually really good so it's very minimal which was not like this before and there is a little bit of a gap on the bottom but I could always raise this bumper up like that and then it will be really nice so man I'm so happy to have this gap really small like this you actually really don't see this often and on Jeffrey's you can see that his gap is pretty big and it's even like that on like 
all 86 Levens that you see it's always like almost a one inch gap but this gap is pretty minimal and I can't believe how well it fits look at that so small so perfect so you know I might have to actually put these fenders on Jeffrey's Levin and we could redo his um, and we could redo his brackets to see if we could make his fitment this well too because this is really nice and if I could get his gap to be this minimal I think his car would look really good um, but we're still waiting on him to maybe get a new hood so we'll probably wait for that because right now it looks good the way it is so we'll probably leave it like that but yeah look how naked these headlights are without the eyelids you really need these eyelids on uh, to make it look complete but look at that it looks so different without the eyelids almost like zanky style uh, a little more like cleanish not so aggressive but once you put those eyelids on it looks so aggressive but yeah this looks really good so at least I have everything mocked up now I'm really happy about that so um, everything is good but yeah, I just got to get my welder like I've been saying so I can fix all these little holes and do all my fabrication work that I need to do on my own but look how sturdy this is this is good this is not going anywhere I don't think I'm gonna do that bottom hole I'm just gonna leave it like that yeah I can't wait to start working on this car too and getting it all good after seeing this in white I'm starting to really like the white but still gonna go blue so we'll see how it looks like in blue um, I don't know how do you guys feel that it will look like in blue but I think it'll still look good uh, but it looks so good in white right now but most 86s are white so I don't really want to do that uh, I want to go back to my OEM blue color that this car is but yeah so that might be it for tonight guys I'm gonna go ahead and clean up we'll get back to the hatch tomorrow and finish all of the stripping down and finish stripping down the hatch tomorrow and then uh, we'll just go from there but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and then put all the covers on these cars and then just go ahead and edit this video for tomorrow but yeah thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more content and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one later peace